come to you this morning. Today is the 9th of January. Um, you know, I suffer from anemia, um, which I think is like, um, I don't have any iron. I don't think I know I, I, my iron is less. I think for an uh, adult, it's ranging between a female adult, because male adults are a bit higher, but for a female adult, your iron level should be between 13 to 17, and mine is sometimes six or below, so I have to do an iron infusion. And I thought I'll document that because there's times where you just think everyone's living a normal life, when they're really not. And I just thank God that I'm here and I'm alive and um, I don't suffer the extremes what some people suffer from. Like some people get blackouts, constantly sleeping, lack of energy. Um, I do sleep a lot, but I'm not constantly tired. Praise God I don't black out. So I thought I'll just bring you along with me. Um, I had my first one six months ago. It did help, um, but my body just rejects iron. So you're coming along with me. I don't think people really know like how big this is for me. Like my phobia of needles is just, some people will say it's dramatic. It's really real like really really well I cry I hyperventilate I do everything um I'm getting better before the only way a needle was getting in me is with my mum um but I'm now by myself the first time I got my infusion done like she had to come because the nurses just couldn't find my vein they was tampering around that I started hyperventilating I was crying that like my eyes was like literally red um and they were just like, sorry, one of the nurses was hugging me. It was traumatic. And <laughs> I'm going back again. Um, if I had a choice, I wouldn't do this. <laughs> but I have no choice. So um, hopefully my veins are just ready to be like, hey, here I am. Infuse me. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to show all of that noodle going in because my eyes need to be closed for that so yeah but you'll see what it looks like after and it's so horrible oh so i met this grenadian lady lovely she done it like a pro didn't feel it so i'm just about to go back in and hook them up so then you can see it fully but she was amazing Shout out to my greens people. <laughs> you should just make sure that it's safe and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. You feel any pain? No. I'm just gonna leave it here, right? I'm just gonna have a little treat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. really cold it feels really horrible um yeah it's just not a nice feeling having like feel like minus two going going up through your whole body yeah? I'm just trying to watch some youtube videos to not feel it but this is it here and um hopefully you can hear me got my headphones on because there's a lot of people around here um, yeah, it's just this really horrible feeling like your hand feels freezing cold, your fingertips. Um, it's more about when you can have your you know, the, your chair up, like the rest foot to rest your feet up, but mine doesn't have that option at the moment, so it's a bit weird. But my hand is freezing cold, that literally my arm is cold, it's really horrible. Um, 
they do between 35 minutes to 40, 30 minutes to 45 minutes but the last time I had 30 minutes was going through me way too quickly so I asked for the 45 minute one um, which is going to take longer to go through my system but at least you can go through slowly it's really horrible um, and I'll check in with you and I'm fine so after 45 minutes, we are nearly done. That's my tube. Um, so I'm now finished. I feel sick. Like literally, like you know if you want to vomit, my stomach's curdling, my hand is freezing cold. Um, it's, it's not nice. I feel drained, run down. I don't know how I look to be honest. I've been looking tired since I woke up, but um, my hand is freezing cold. I feel really sick. Like, to vomit. Um, other than that, I've literally finished and I think I'm going to take an Uber home because I feel really, really weak. I think I'm just going to go to bed. Um, I thought I'll just share this because you know there's a lot of people that are suffering with things and um, people don't really understand like if you're somewhere and you feel that you're tired or you're not your normal self a lot of people just think you're boring or there's times I just want to be at home and a lot of some people don't understand that like, why you always at home why you want to come out so when I do go out it's like I wouldn't say it's an effort but when I have energy I try to go out as much as I can when I don't have energy I try to stay at home so I just thought I'll just show you the reason why I get tired, why I say I'm tired, why I say I want to sleep, and so my my iron was level six, as I said, it's meant to be thirteen to seventeen, I think. So with this, it's probably it takes a while to boost it up. Um, side effects is I I actually like sleeping, so this is going to keep me like back like wide awake um give me more energy but since i've uh, this is the second time i've done it first time i've done it was i can't remember yeah i can't remember maybe june or july but this is the second time so in six months time i have to come back um uh, have a blood test see how it's going see if i need another one um but yeah i hope you guys have a lovely day Okay, so I'm now home. It's been roughly around five hours since I've had my iron infusion. Um, obviously everybody's different, but with me, I normally feel like um, what's the word? I normally feel lightheaded, so I sit down for like a good twenty minutes before I go home. Um, I got an Uber because I felt really, really weak, and I got home and I felt okay actually felt energetic um i had like a half an hour nap and i've woken up and the last previous time that i've had my iron infusion i feel like this when i get up i feel sick like i can't explain it it's not like a vomiting feeling it's my whole body just feels like something's been injected into us and we do not like it i it's just this really horrible feeling um the first time I had it it wasn't so bad it didn't last this long but this time it's it's lasting too long like I, I tried to wash some clothes and I thought you know what I'm just just gonna go back and and lay down um I thought I'll just film this to let you know like how I how I feel um I don't know how I look <laughs> I look like a hot mess <laughs> I still laugh and smile through my pain, but I just thought I would just vlog like the, after it. Who knows how I would feel tomorrow, but as of right now, I feel sick. I decided to have some Moroccan tea because Moroccan tea normally helps everything. It's really good for periods as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just not feeling good. I tried to have some Moroccan tea. Didn't work. Hot water didn't work. I've eaten, it's not working, I just, 
I think maybe I just need to sleep it off, but I've got so much energy, I'm wide awake. <sighs> so, but if you want more videos like this, more videos about me, so my iron deficiency, I could do some. Um, I might do add this to my vlog because, yes, I'm always energetic, making videos, doing challenges, talks, whatever, whatever, but this is behind the scenes and I thought. I would share it with you. So like, share and subscribe. Peace out.